Good afternoon, everyone. So as promised, uh, here is a short Screencastify video of what I would do if I wanted to do a Screencastify video using Google Slides. As you can see here, all of my Google Slides that I wanted to do for this lesson are already completed here on the left. Once you are done completing all of the slides for your actual lesson, the first thing you're going to do is click the Google Chrome extension of Screencastify. You're going to then pick the desktop recording because I wanted uh, the children to be able to view my whole screen. Because when I do Google Slides, I actually present them and it will come up as a, a whole screen. And you'll see what I mean when I go further into this uh, Screencastify. So I did that and then it's going to have uh, you pick an option. Do you want the entire screen to be recorded or just the application. I pick the entire screen and then I hit record. Um, the next thing that I would do would hit the present button as I am doing now. And as you can see, uh, I actually have the full screen uh, presented and I am also here so that you are ensuring that all of your students are able to understand the lesson. Remember how I said, um, keep in mind our ELLs, they're very visual learners and sometimes reading your lips and seeing your gestures will really help them to understand the lesson. Um, and then basically all you would do is go through your slides, talk about the lesson, what you want the children to do, and then when you're done going over all of your slides, you hit the escape button. Hitting the escape button will bring you back to this page. Now, if you don't remember the shortcuts, it's okay. All you have to do is click here, again, to stop the video. Now, once you stop the video, it's going to ask you to trim and edit the video. When you trim and edit the video, remember you can only take out anything from the beginning or the ending, nothing in between. Unfortunately, it does not allow us to change that. So if there's something that you wanna omit from the beginning or something that you wanna omit from the end of your video, that's what you would do. And then remember, you can um, save the trim. It will automatically save it to your drive and your Screencastify recordings. So once all of that is done and you uh, are satisfied with your recording, you can then share it either through your Google Classroom or through um, an email if you wanna send it to a colleague or any way that you want to share your video, okay? I hope that this was helpful and you have a better understanding of how to use Screencastify using Google Slides. Um, I will talk about Google Slides in a separate workshop um, on another day. Have a great day.